At the prestigious Kimberly Magic Academy, it's said that a staggering 20% of students won't make it to graduation. But for our newbies, there's a mix of anxiety and excitement. Our protagonist, Oliver Horn, feels a bit nervous as he makes his way towards the entrance ceremony at Kimberly Magic Academy. A talking flower teases Oliver with the prospect of a terrible future, which could just be a joke or foreshadowing of a grim reality to come. While still en route to Kimberly, Oliver conveniently stumbles upon all five of the anime's supporting characters. Katie Alto, Guy Greenwood, Pete Reston, Michela McFarlane, and Nanao Hibiya, a real samurai from Yamatsukuni. The six will quickly become the bestest of friends. Magic creatures are a norm, from unicorns to majestic griffins and even bright yellow dragons. But not all is well. A rampaging troll brings chaos, and a sinister spell from an unknown entity causes Katie Alto to head straight for it. The situation serving as a convenient opportunity to show off the characters' abilities as the work together to say Katie. Oliver combines the spells of his friends to imitate the roar of a wind dragon, giving the samurai Nanao the opportunity to tap it on the head. K.O. Next, we head to the entrance ceremony where the headmistress delivers a big speech, a speech so electrifying it is practically bursting at the seam. We then get a formal round of introductions. Oliver Horn stands out with a heritage of magic in his family. He's also passionate about spells and has a knack for innovation. Nanao Hibia, hailing from Yamatsukuni, has a warrior's past. Rescued by a man named Theodore McFarlane, she finds herself enrolled at Kimberly. And surprise! Theodore McFarlane is Michella McFarlane's father and a lecturer at the academy. Purification rituals, early morning escapades, and mysterious guardians set the stage for a rich narrative. A reminder that Kimberly Magic Academy is not for the faint-hearted. And that wraps up our recap. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all next time. Thanks.